In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the Recolor Artwork dialog box. I believe this is one of the best features in Illustrator. And as a designer, recoloring artwork can be a tedious task. And finding different palettes to introduce to your artwork can sometimes be daunting. So with the Recolor Artwork tool, we can actually very efficiently recolor artwork in a quite a simple way. So I'm just going to scroll over to some artwork that I'd like to change. Now I have a couple birds here and as you can see that we have um, nice greens and neutral tones to these birds. Now in my swatches panel I have actually already created a few different color groups with uh, the, the swatches used on these birds. So in these uh, swatches they're created with uh, the color group folder icon, which is down at the bottom of your swatches icon. So all I need to do is just select a few swatches that I want to put together into a color group. And then I'm going to go down to the folder icon and click on new color group, where I can go ahead and name this color group and then press OK. So as you can see, I have a nice color group uh, added in here. Now when we're going to go into the recolor dialog box, this is where these color groups are really going to be important because it allows us to choose a color group to apply to our artwork on the screen. So I want to select the artwork that I have and that I want to recolor. And we can get to the recolor dialog box in a few different places. Now the longer route is under edit, edit colors, and then recolor artwork. And the short route is just this icon in the top of our screen here called Recolor Artwork. So it looks like a little grayscale color wheel. So I'm going to click on that icon. And right away, it's going to recolor my artwork with the last color group that was created. So we have some tan colors that I've added in there. We can see that that automatically gets uh, sw switched. But I want to use a nice vibrant color group, which I have color group 2 here. So I'm going to click on my color group 2. And it assigns colors in a random order. Now at the top of my screen here, it shows me all of the active colors that I have now in these objects. Now the really cool thing about this is it doesn't just apply it once and you know that's the only choice you have. You actually have a choice of randomizing the, the selections of these colors or are towards. So these little icons at the bottom here, so randomly change color order and it also changes the saturation and brightness and we can also find them in the artwork. So I'm going to click on the randomly change color order and I can very easily and quickly kind of randomize and take a look at different ways this artwork is going to be colored. Now let's say that I quite like this but maybe the saturation isn't to my liking. Well, then I'm going to go over to the randomly changes saturation and brightness and I'm going to click on this and now we can see it's more muted tones, even more muted and so forth. So I would click until I get something that I'm a little bit more satisfied with and let's stop around here. And now I can see a certain color in my artwork here. Now if I want to target a specific color, um, into the tab here under Edit Active Colors, I can go and click on that. And we can see the whole gamut here. So all the colors that are used in this color wheel. Now let's for instance, um, I'm going to click on this kind of darker green hue here. And I can adjust the, the hue in my CMYK. Um, or I can actually click on that and adjust that all the way around in this circle as well. So it's going to keep the, um, the hue tones and just change the values of those. So as we can see, I can wrap that all the way around and change that on the color wheel, or I can simply just come in here and adjust it a little bit as well. Now going back to the assign control, so how the artwork is going to be recolored, I have here, click on colors of bug to find them in the artwork. Well, let's say I wanted to know exactly where this color, looks like an olive green is being used. So I will click on that and I'm going to say, click on these colors. So I'm going to find these 
And so once I click on that, I can see now that these are being used in the feathers of this bottom bird. Um, also, we have this purple, and I can see where that is being used as well. So that's just kind of helps us to target where these are going to be placed. Now, if I wanted to edit one of these colors in here, let's say I'm, I'm happy with what I see, but one of them, maybe the white is just a little too stark for me. I want to soften that up. So I'm just going to double click on that white and it'll open up my color picker box where I can come in and kind of select a color that I'm a little more happy with and I will press OK. Now it doesn't recolor it um, when I have the color picker open. I actually have to adjust it first in my color picker and then press OK and then I can see it come to life. And I can also adjust that down in my um, color bars, my CMYK bars here. Okay, so once we are done with that, um, I'm not going to say okay right away because what happens is that's going to edit that color group number two. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a brand new color group here and just up into the, the top right of my bar, there's a little folder, new color group, and there's that new color group that I just created on this section. And once I'm done with that, I will say OK. And so now in our swatches menu, we can see that new color group has been added and has been applied to this group. So there you have it. There's a nice basic introduction to the recolor artwork. And I hope you have fun with that.